is AJ Jacobson with Rivals.com. I'm talking to Matrell McGraw. Here we are before practice number seven, uh, spring camp 2000. Gosh, it's 18, man. Time has flown. Here you are as senior. Uh, can you believe how fast your years have gone? Uh, it's definitely kind of like unbelievable. Just remember when I first got on campus and everything was new to me. Now I'm a senior and I'm looking at everybody else and it's like I see the upcoming freshmen and they're going through some of the same things I was going through at the time. So it's definitely like it's just wild and crazy. Is it fun being, you know, one of the leaders and one of the, te you know, on-field teachers now as opposed to one of the on-field learners? You know? Yeah, uh, it's definitely better to be in a position to where you're teaching and learning for sure. Uh, learning things on the fly can definitely be hard, but um, I just try to like tell some of the, the incoming freshmen, just younger guys, just if you're going to make a mistake, make it full speed uh, and we'll correct it. That's what spring ball is really for, for you to try out new things and try to build your, your toolbox and, you know, uh, just get better for the season to come. Now, this is a long cry from Louisiana. Um, what do you miss about home? You're from you're from Louisiana, correct? Yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. What do you miss about home? The food. Yeah. The food. <laughs> Obviously, family, um, family and friends, but most importantly, just the food. But at this point now, I'm used to being far away yeah. from home. Uh, I'm happy and thankful for the experience. Uh, it's been a great experience. And uh, going, leaving Louisiana to go to college was probably one of the best decisions I made because it helped me grow as a person. Yeah. And also, uh, it just opened my eyes to a lot of different things that I probably wouldn't have seen if I would have stayed home or stayed closer to home. Were there any points in your career where you're like, man, I'm so homesick, I gotta just go home? Were, were you ever at that point early? Nah, uh, maybe my freshman year a little bit when I was injured, but for the most part, not really. Uh, I had like great friends while I was here, Berlin Addison, um, Kenny Farr I'm really close with, uh, Farrell Brown, Dwayne, Byron Marshall, all those guys. That when I was coming up, they were helping me out with the distance and stuff like that because Braylon was from Houston, I'm from New Orleans, Farrell was from Cleveland, uh, Dwayne was from uh, Ohio as well. So we all just kind of stuck it out together, and those guys helped me along the way. Here we are with some continuity on the defense between last year and this year with Levitt coming back and a lot of the coaches coming back. How do you think that's going to affect the defense this year with a little bit of continuity from last year? Uh, we are even hungrier than we were last year, honestly. Uh, just getting a taste of a little success on defense and, you know, um, seeing that if we put everything together and we all work as a cohesive unit that we can be real good. So now this year we improved, I think, from like 12 to 4 in the Pac-12. Now we want to get to that number one spot. And uh, I know last year we had a few slip-ups in certain games and certain areas, but we want to play more consistent and every game come out with that dominating factor and that mentality, like, you know, if the offense, whether the offense scores 10 points, whether they score three points, we're not going to let anyone score on us. So, you know, that's kind of the mentality we're building now. And like I said, Coach Levitt, he hasn't let the success get to anyone's head, including his or none of the coaches. He's still on us like we were ranked 125. So, uh, you know, that's just a, it's a kind of, it's a great thing to have. Okay, so uh, you're a veteran now. You, you're running with the ones. Talk about the young cats that have caught your eye. I mean, cause, cause, I mean, you, you get to see these guys. What do you think? What's your evaluation? Uh, man, we have some really good young guys. Uh, Steve Stevens is really good. Um, Demetrius Birch, I know a lot of guys, people haven't seen him yet, yes. but Demetrius is a, he's like a, a very special talent. Um, he's very shifty can catch the ball. Um, we have a, we just have a, a lot of young guys that are, uh, that will definitely help coming out. And an another guy too is, um, CJ Verdell. People haven't seen him. I think CJ's going to probably break a few records here. So, uh, we have a, a great group of young guys. And then of course, Coach Crystal Ball and the coaching staff did a great job of recruiting um, this past season. So I know we got some really big offensive linemen that's coming in in the uh, fall. So I'm looking forward to, you know, just seeing how the team shape throughout the rest of spring, summer, and then fall camp, and then get ready for the first game against Bowling Green. Just looking back, this is my last thing for you, Matrell, but just looking back at your career now, what stands out to you about Oregon and Eugene and just this experience? Oh, uh, man, it's just Eugene is a really laid back, uh, low key place. And that just kind of fits my personality. That's how I am. So, uh, you know, the fans obviously love duck football, but you don't have to worry about anything too crazy. Uh, the crime rate here is pretty good compared to back home. So I don't constantly have to look over my shoulder uh, and just man, just the, the amount of gratitude and love the fans show the players, whether you was four and eight, whether we were 10 and two or we were 14 and two or whatever the record was, it was always love, support, and they always supported us. We didn't have to worry about, you know, kind of being embarrassed out in public and stuff like that because they showed the same amount of love as if my first year we went to national championship until two years ago we weren't four and eight. So that's kind of the biggest thing that I can say uh, I've seen since being in Eugene. 
Fantastic. Well, Matrell Gras, I've enjoyed watching you develop and look forward to a fantastic senior year. Thanks, man. All right.